Good evening, everybody. How's uh, how's everyone doing? So, uh, so I've been busy. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw this, but uh, let me pull up Twitter. So this is the uh, this is the the full roster for Tails gets trolled, and uh, and I'm over here, so that's fun. <laughs> I also bought Activision Blizzard. You're right, Norberto. <laughs> we'll finally be releasing a good Diablo game. So uh, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. I've been working on uh, a couple tracks for Tails gets trolled, um, co-working with uh, with Huda. And echo located in particular, so I'm I'm very psyched. It's gonna be fun. What's up, Caribou? Yeah, Tails gets trolled is awesome. Uh, there's the music coming for it is insane. They're they're stepping it up so much, and I'm really excited to be just a part of that. Uh, and then there's a couple other mods that I'm also on that I I can't talk about yet, but they're they're gonna be fun. So uh, so I've been in those songs all day. And, uh, and here we are with something entirely different, uh, and that is God Rays from Entity Mod. Uh, and, and as the thumbnail and title say, I, I think I'm going to try to pull off both of them today. Uh, both God Rays and Shotgun Shell, because enough people have been requesting both that I feel like I should I should do both of them, right? So, uh, oh yeah, and I'm working on something with Saruki. Yes, yeah, Skyro Runs. Yeah, so I'm co-writing a tune with Saruki for uh, something Hotline related. Um... Co-writing tunes with Huda for Tales Gets Trolled, and uh, writing a song for something Saster adjacent, but I can't talk about it yet. So, um, Crazy Drummer, we're wearing the same shirt. This, it's just a t-shirt and a, a hoodie. Do we have the same combo going on? <laughs> anyway, make sure not to overwork myself. I know, I know. I'm, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I keep in this. If you were in my Patreon channel, you saw me like join several mod teams in the span of a few hours. I just kept texting like, oh, I just joined Tails got trolled. Uh, anyway, so let's check out God Rays. Ooh, that got loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little. God Rays is loud. Here it comes. Keep forgetting not to call these things verse or anything because they're not. Caribou, thank you so much. You don't have to. I, if <laughs> Caribou, I really appreciate it. You don't have to if you can't. <laughs> Which entity song is my favorite? Ooh. Uh, it's between this one and Promenade. They're both really good. Crazy Drummer, I'm gonna answer that in a second. New Agoti vocals? I'm coming around to it. Oh, thanks, Gara.
So there is our track. And one more thing I usually do is just set up a bounce length. Cool. Okay. So why Pro Tools? Uh, Crazy Drummer asked. Um, the, the short and dumb reason is because it's what I learned on. Uh, sorry, that's not actually true. I learned on GarageBand, uh, and then I moved to Cubase for a while, weirdly, then Ableton, uh, and now I use a mixture of Ableton and Pro Tools, depending on what I'm working on. And the main reason I use Pro Tools, let me show you, um, I can show you on, yeah, I guess I can show you on this. I can't show you what this sounds like, but I could show you what the audio looks like. <laughs> I can't say what this is for, but, um... The reason I use Pro Tools is because it has a higher level of detail it can do. You can make more fine edits. For example, and this isn't the only program that can do this. Cubase can do this. I think Studio One can do this, and Reaper can definitely do this. But Ableton cannot do this, and God knows FL Studio can't do this. Uh, and that is uh, what I call slip editing. There's probably a better word for it, but basically... This is the guitar part here, right? Um, sounds like that. And notice it's just a little bit after the beat. And I can just grab this and then really quickly nudge just using keyboard. I'm not even touching my mouse uh, after that. Like uh, you, there are so many great shortcuts. It's just so fast to move through in the hands of a professional. It really is. And this sounds stupid. A pro tool like it is. It is such high end. Uh, ability to just modify every step of every piece of audio and MIDI that you're working with the, in a way that no other DAW comes close to. And that is why I'm using this. Um, mostly because it makes editing guitars really easy in a way that no other program does. Uh, if I weren't editing guitars, I'd be using Ableton, probably. Anyway, let's figure this situation out. Uh, I'm going to pull in, let's use sideways as a starter as far as the setup goes. Okay. One of my playing pop songs, Kenyon, like on my second channel on Dean DeMarzo. I've been, I've been like neglecting that channel. I know. I feel bad. Um... Would I recommend using this program for a musician just starting out? No, honestly. Um, I wouldn't recommend Pro Tools to anybody new, except except if you're recording primarily audio, and that means mostly microphone-related stuff, like if you're recording a lot of actual guitars, physical guitars, or real live drums, or a lot of singing, um, then I would consider Pro Tools. Uh, but Cubase and Studio One are also great options. If you're going to be doing mostly electronic stuff, mostly keyboards, mostly MIDI, Ableton Live every day, all the time not FL Studio. Okay, let's write some drums. We always start with drums. Uh, and because I never talk about this, uh, this, is, this is the drum set I use. This is Get Good Drums, GGD, Invasion. That just sounds sick. Reaper is amazing. Yeah, Reaper is wonderful. Reaper is... I know more people that have switched from Pro Tools to Reaper than those that actually use Pro Tools, weirdly. Uh, I just can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> Norberto. <laughs> Guillerme, uh, I promise... Ableton Live would be easier for you. FL Studio is so pointlessly complicated. Dante, this is Pro Tools. Uh, what's been my favorite Friday Night Funkin' cover so far? Uh, Discharge. Ah, uh, thanks, Jaylee. Uh, 
Uh, who's my favorite Friday Night Funkin' character? Uh, I do like Garcello. Um, Agoti's design is really sick. Is this sample kit free? No, unfortunately, it's like a hundred bucks. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, go grab, um, there's a lot of great free drum kits out there. Uh, I'm, if you just Google like free metal drum samples or something, you will find like great libraries out there. If I had to be entirely honest, my favorite Friday Night Funkin' character is Gentbot, but that seems unfair to say. Can I make a new Friday Night Funkin' mod? Yeah, I'm finishing up the update to versus Gentbot right now. We are not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> A rock cover mod. So, so I've had this idea for a while that I thought would be fun. I just need to find an artist willing to do it with me. Um, Dinosaurus, I've made like two mods already. <laughs> uh, I've had this idea for a mod that's just all of Friday Night Funkin' Vanilla, like the first six weeks, but with just metal instrumentals and all the characters look more metal or emo or something. I don't know. They're all wearing like goth outfits. I thought that'd be fun. I just need an artist to do that with me. Uh, so if you can draw Friday Night Funkin' style really well um, and want to draw metal versions of everybody in all the stages, hit me up. What's up, Clown Bash? Okay, crazy drummer, you can stick around. Oh my god, emo lemon. Oh god. I take it all back. I take it all back, caribou. Uh, I'll check out that Oswald tune. Wait, is that from the Suicide Mouse pod? Do I like Aldrix or Solazar? I of the two, I like Solazar. Lemon goes pop. Yeah, I'm not going to be touching the Suicide Mouse mod for a while. I know the creator of that had some sketchy stuff come out, so I'm not I'm not going near that. Uh, 
Uh, will I ever do cycles? Maybe. I kind of don't mind moving on from Sonic.exe. Especially after that one also had some drama too. <laughs> this is, uh, this is uh, God Rays from the Entity Mod and I'm using Pro Tools. Okay, we're gonna use that same drum beat. We're just gonna show out the hi-hat a little bit. Ogodi was, but it's uh, it's been separated from the original uh, creator who had some drama with it. Have I seen the drama? Yes, last time I have. <laughs> I don't know, the Pippi mods really don't do it for me. Yeah, Crazy Drummer, I want to hear you play drums. I, I've seen you play guitar and you're really good. Right? I've seen you play guitar, I think? Uh, yeah, I want to hear some drums. Hollow Funk, uh, Cure Scream. I don't know that one. Will I ever do the Witty Mod? No, I just really don't like the music. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crazy Drummer, you can send me some vids later. Puddles, thank you so much. What's up, Clown Bash? Yeah, exactly, Caribou. Uh, I haven't heard that one, Neo Demon. The short answer is, if I haven't covered it yet, and it's an older song, I probably won't. Um, if only because covering newest, covering the newest songs, um, is is just the best thing for me to do YouTube wise. Um, That's not to say I'll never do any older songs. Like I'm definitely like I'm doing these right now, and they're not exactly the brand newest things, uh, but they gotta like really, really appeal to me uh, in order for me to cover them. So, and a lot of frankly, I'm so mean about it, but a lot of Friday Night Funkin' songs just do nothing for me. Promenade, maybe I do really like it. Cassette Girl? Awesome. Awesome mod. Adrian, what non-Friday Night Funkin' songs do I want to cover? Uh, I really want to cover more anime themes. I had a blast with the Attack on Titan theme last week. And, uh... Yeah, I would definitely do Promenade Clown Bash. Um... Yeah, I had a blast with the Attack on Titan theme. I really want to do, um, the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood theme sometime. I've said that like a billion times on stream. I just need to do it. I know nobody's going to watch it because nobody watches anime themes on my channel, but I just want to do it for me because I have fun with it. Dean goes bald and covers One Punch Man. My wife would kill me. Not because of the One Punch Man thing. <laughs> just hair.
she doesn't like One Punch Man. <laughs> she doesn't like anime in general, though. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Gara Runs. You're exactly right, FH. <laughs> I swear to God, 99% of this chat is, can you cover this? Like I said, if I haven't covered it yet, I'm probably not going to. Uh, I really only covered, like, really new stuff. What's up, Vanilla? I'm definitely not touching anything from uh from that part of that mod neo what's up lara san manco i heard that's really good we we'll check that out at the end of the stream some static Yes, I'm doing No Villains Dirt Slabs, and then I'm co-writing some songs with the composer for Tales Gets Trolled. The Erect remixes? Kind of a letdown, to be honest. Uh, Naora, um, I've heard some more songs from Entity. Uh, I was talking to some composers from it. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be real good. I, I heard some, some sneak previews of stuff. hi-hat parts break in my brain. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that works. Uh, Naura, yes. Uh, we're talking probably the best song I've heard in Entity, and one of the better songs I've, I've heard. Really good. Who wrote, who wrote Shotgun Shell? Because I can tell you, I know who's writing Sh uh, Aldrich's second song. Um, let me see if... It's the same person? Okay, no. Uh, Aldrich's second song is not written by the same person, so... Yeah, it's not innuendo. I don't know if it's Aldrich's second song, I just know an Aldrich song is not written by the same person, so they're not keeping uh, the same... Uh... Uh, the same composers all the time for everybody. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Vanilla, this is Pro Tools. Goggled, we've been over this. <laughs> uh, the plugin I'm using for the drums is a contact library called Get Good Invasion. And it sounds incredible. Aw, oh, thanks, Super Genesis. I want to hear what you do with them. I would love to hear what you do with them. <laughs> Don't say FL Studio or Undine if you like living. No, I'm not that bad on it. In fact, I admitted the other day, FL Studio has the best built-in synthesizers of any program. Uh, unfortunately, everything around it is hot garbage, so kind of a moot point. I actually don't know. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Because we're doing both this and Shotgun Shell today, and because I didn't have time to transcribe both of the leads for it, we're just doing um, we're just doing uh, the instrumentals today, and I'm going to figure out the leads later. Uh, I figure that's the most fun part anyway. You guys don't r really dig me just fumbling my way through the lead part for the first time anyway. It kind of sucks. So we're going to do the fun part. Uh, FL Studio is terrible. It's a bad program for beginners. It's very confusing. It's pointlessly, pointlessly complicated. Uh, and Ableton Live is the better choice for everybody. And it has a 90-day free trial. So for the love of God, go to Ableton.com and download the free trial. Don't ever touch FL Studio. Okay, I'm done. Rant over. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Goggled. I guarantee FL would have been, uh, I guarantee Ableton would have been easier. Everybody says like, oh, Ableton's so complicated. It's literally the simplest freaking program on earth. Could I please show you what guitar vocals I use? What do you mean, Neo? I use this guitar. Become a big shot real quick. <laughs> okay. Can I slap face? Yeah. What do I know about Soundation? I've literally never heard of it, and I've been a music producer for 20 years, Vanilla. I don't think it's a major player in the industry, I'm sorry. I don't think it takes the fun out of it at all, Nora. Any thoughts on Cakewalk? It was it was a good option 20 years ago, and that's not a joke. It was a good option 20 years ago. I used it 20 years ago. It is not a good option now. We're going to switch to palm muting there. Now do it with a banjo. I have one. Don't tempt me. Okay. 
Let's do our second guitar part. We always double track guitars, one for each ear. Orlando, there, there's no such thing as necessarily a metal guitar. There's some guitars that are good for metal. Um, like this, this guitar has seven strings, so it's uh, a little more uh, useful for like really down-tuned, really low notes. Uh, and the pickups in it sound better for the type of tones I'd use on a, on a metal guitar or on a like a metal song. Um, but that doesn't, there's no such thing necessarily as a metal guitar. Um, like I got, I've played this on jazz gigs. Like, like you can play jazz music on any guitar. You can play metal music on any guitar. It's just that some are going to be better suited to it. How do I maintain my guitar? I don't. I'm a really crappy guitar owner. I did just bring two of my guitars into the shop to have uh, new frets placed on them, which are these metal pieces. Uh, they have to like heat up the neck and then hammer them out. And then um, it, it's like really intense. <laughs> Prove my point, remake the Dune soundtrack on banjo. Uh, I'm tempted, but I'm too tired. What's up there, Sarah, how you doing? Okay, we're gonna have the guitar drop out there. What's up, Louie? Nolan. Nolan, I got you. Nolan, for the love of God, I've got you. Go looking. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, we're doing God Race first. Yeah, like definitely, definitely go through all my old covers. I played, I've been on here 15 years, and Friday Night Funkin's only been around a year. So there's a lot of covers on here that aren't Friday Night Funkin'. You should check them out. Why did we time out Killjoy? I think I can un untime them out. No, I can't. I'm sorry, Killjoy. <laughs> Norberto, why did you double down on it? <laughs> oh, Tercero was able to unhide. Good, good, good. Tercero, Norberto, can you untime out Killjoy? We're sorry, Killjoy. <laughs> oh. Uh, what do I use to edit my videos? I use a program called DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it is free and it's amazing.
I do have strong opinions on the software I use, I know. Ooh, using a bass for Salazar's voice. Pato, I hadn't thought about that. I don't mind that idea. That's fun. I'm going to think about that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Goggled, I've been around a while. I'm old. Okay, then we're back to using this here, so we might be already done with the rhythm parts. Yeah, I like the bass lead idea, that's fun. What's up, Clown Bash? Oh, it's a really short hit. Whoops. Uh, well, first we're going to record actual bass on this, and then we'll record, we'll figure out like a vocal bass. Bass or not bass? I'm not even pulling it. I like the idea. I'm doing it. <laughs> I watched any good shows recently, Gara Runs. Um, on the silly side, I've been watching Smiling Friends. I'm a few episodes into that, and I still can't tell if I like it or not, but I think I do. Um... And then on the other, on the side of things my wife will actually watch with me, um, I've been watching a ton of, and we were talking about this on Tales from Rukon, uh, a ton of Blown Away, which is the Netflix uh, glass blowing competition show. It's such a dumb thing to watch, but I'm super into it. It's very, very intense and competitive. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this guitar is literally so Azar. That works, clunk. Um, and let's see, what else? I don't know. Oh, New Girl. We're watching through New Girl. <laughs> I love kids, Charlie. I love kids. I, I I wouldn't go shouting that around, dude. Charlie gives me big, uh, big Seuss vibes from Gravity Falls. <laughs> Charlie's like a very disillusioned Seuss. Does my wife play guitar? Yes, she does. She plays guitar and sings. She's wonderful. Uh, and then tonight, okay, so my wife and I both watched How I Met Your Mother when that was initially on, uh, and How I Met Your Father, the sequel series, premiered tonight, and I don't know how I feel about it yet. We watched it, like, literally just before I got on stream here, so I'm still processing it. I don't know if I like it yet. We'll see. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. Killjoy, you're back! <laughs> I'm actually gonna get faster with the bass there. Not there, though.
Later, Flizzy. My chaos cover was the first one ever. I did do it pretty early on, I think. Oh yeah, I'll probably play finger bass for the voice. Yeah. Make sure we got all the synth parts in here and stuff. So there's two things happening here we gotta get. Actually, three. Later, Pato. So there's three layers we gotta add. We got, uh, some staccato strings going bum, 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 bum. Uh, we've got um, a piano in the background going boom, da 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 really, really far back. And then we have this little wee synth going at the beginning. See if you can listen for those three things. We got strings, we got piano, and we got the wee wee Naura, uh, all the instrumental versions are on my Patreon. Okay, so let's add some strings first. What's up, Lucky? Yeah, we're doing both tonight. Later, Clown Bash. Just record my voice and use that? Okay. <laughs> we'll try it. It's gonna sound stupid, but we'll try it. <laughs> okay, let's hear what this line's playing. What's up, Echo Located? How you doing? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I can't believe how much you are <laughs> you are corralling so many creatives in one uh, in one project. That is like unheard of amounts of organization echolocated. I don't know how you're doing it. It's amazing. Bum, 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 bum. Banjo for an April Fool's joke. That is a lot of work for an April Fool's joke. I'll probably just do Never Gonna Give You Up or something. 15 years and I still haven't done that as an April Fool's joke. Talentless Fox cover. I'm doing no villains in a couple weeks. I do like Talentless Fox though. Maybe I'll do them both. Why is this sound off? I guess that's okay. And I'll say that with just enough leeway for you to all forget about it before April, FH. <laughs> Uh, 
Crazy Drum, you could just send them on Discord. Oh, this one's different. Oh, okay, I see, I see. And I like that line leading into this. What is that? Ba da da da. Later, Clown Bash. Okay, now we got to get that piano going. Do I have any music tips for Friday Night Funkin'? Uh, Skellibird, if you haven't watched my How to Make Music for Friday Night Funkin' tutorial stream yet, definitely go check that out. It's in the music production live streams down below in the in the playlists on my homepage. Uh, or you could just search How to Make Music for Friday Night Funkin'. It should be one of the top results. Um, or maybe Tercero or somebody will link it for you. But definitely follow that tutorial in Ableton Live. Uh, you will learn a ton about writing music, hopefully. What's up, some random gamer? <laughs> What's up, Echo Located? Oh yes, there's gonna be gonna be lots of good songs to cover from that, don't worry. Uh, is it difficult to make songs or covers? Um, it depends on the skill set you have, to be honest. I have, like, uniquely developed the skill set for covering songs from video games over my entire life. Like, that's all I spent growing up doing was this. So, it's easy for me. If this is what you spend your time doing, it will get a lot easier. Um, it is not hard to start. I really suggest starting with like really easy songs, like either stuff from uh, Smoke Em Out Struggle or like the early weeks in the, the base game of Friday Night Funkin'. I think that's the same piano line we have here, it's just higher. How do I know where to place the music notes? Uh, a ton of practice. Um, so this is just a, this is just a piano, like if you turn your head and look at it, it is literally the, the keys of a piano laid out sideways, vertically. Uh, so as I move up, I'm moving up the keys of a piano, as I move down, I'm going down, uh, and I know where different chords and different notes sit on this piano, so like a C major chord is these three notes. And from there, it's just training your ear. Yeah, to play by ear, exactly, Crazy Drummer. Uh, so if I hear... That line, I know if the first note is uh, F, which it is in this song, I can write that out. And that's just because I've trained my ear to know what those distances between notes sound like. And uh, that's it.
<laughs> so we need that. <whistles> that thing. Ow! Can I sing it? Let's try singing it. That's gonna be stupid. I love it. And then we're gonna pitch shift it up, and it's gonna sound completely unrecognizable. Oh, I didn't record it. <laughs> Wrong channel. There we go. Oh! <laughs> That's so stupid, I love it. So we're gonna auto-tune it and then shift it up. And then, we take that, and we shift it up an octave. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to filter it, distort it a little. Oops. Oh, thanks, Super Mortal. I'm glad to hear it. There it is. Okay, how often does that happen? I'm just listening through for each time it happens, I'm going to paste it in. There we go. Okay, we're good. Just should have recorded after inhaling helium. That's a lot more work. That's more expensive. Mix-wise, this is sounding a little messy, uh, so we're going to go through and clean some stuff up, kind of taking it from the top down. Um, this is the hee hee. And this is the strings. And this is the piano. No matter what you do, the file is too big. You can, like, throw it on an unlisted video on YouTube or, or convert it to an MP3. Like, what, what kind of file are you dealing with, Crazy Drummer? The music from Crash 2, yes. Okay, so let's take it down to just uh, just drums here. Let's get those to a manageable level. Uh, and what's happening? Oh. We're going to pull that volume down a little bit. Goggled, this is not Ableton Live. This is Pro Tools. It says it right in the top left. I don't know why everybody keeps asking. It says it right here in the top left where it, where it always says things. 
What's up, yeet? This game has also changed my life, Nara, and it's super weird. Violet, this is God Rays. I'll consider it, Caribou. Would God Rays be one of my top songs of 2022? Uh, wasn't it in 2021? Wasn't it last year? It's a good song, though. Any tips for good mixing? Yeah, uh, mix at lower volumes. Um, like don't mix up, don't mix pushing everything louder and louder. Uh, mix down, mix, start from the basics. Start with low volumes and only add if you absolutely have to. We're going to add a lead guitar part here. What am I doing? Set myself on fire for this cover. That seems unsafe. <laughs> FH. Killing me. Burn down the studio for this cover. Yes, good idea. Uh... What's my favorite song on Friday Night Funkin'? It's, uh, it's Discharge. I'm just noodling. I'm just I'm just putting off actually learning this lead part. Sweet, I'll check it out, crazy drummer. Next. <laughs> How does this line actually go? Okay, I gotta learn this. Uh, okay. Hang on. Boop. 
boy, this hard, this part's hard to follow. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Never played this before. What is this part? I should have played more Persona. You know this is just a song for per from Persona, right? It's this song. Chorus is there. We go. Yeah, so it's literally that song. Uh, so yeah, that does make Spotify release a little tricky. I may have to release it, but give the rights to the Persona composer rather than Rosebud. Ninety nine point nine from Mob Psycho. Is this a song that'll get me a copyright strike? Oh, it's from Crunchyroll. Okay, hang on. This is fun. I like this. Uh, some static, it technically makes God raise a derivative work, which is not quite a remix and is technically super illegal. <laughs> this is fun, I like this. Saving that for later. Oh, this slaps. The animation's gorgeous, too. Do I want to watch this anime? Is it good? Looks good. I get big Yu Yu Hakusho vibes from it, actually. Sweet. That's sick. I'll check that out. Um, 
Violet, I do not play Roblox. I have no interest in playing it. I'm sorry. We got the timing that time. We're close. Uh, yeah, Pyro, check it out. Uh, send it over to my Discord. I'll check it out later. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do two lead guitar parts. Uh, one playing it there, one playing it an octave down. Puddles, thank you so much. Have a good night, Puddles. You rock. You're amazing. Uh, would I consider covering anything from Imposter? That's all, um, is that Philip Lull? Who, who writes Imposter? Uh, I do like their work. Um, no, I'm not a hardcore Roblox player. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never played. I have no interest in it. This doesn't seem like my scene. Adam Wright. Ah, oh, the timing gets me every time. Yeah, I met, I, I I joined a Discord server with Philip and Adam at the same time, so I'm getting I'm getting a lot of mod makers confused. Oh, thanks, Jensen. Sweet, Pyro, we'll check it out later. Um, weekly, you ate a sandwich, and now your mouth, the top of it, is pained. The Captain Crunch effect, I see. I'm sorry. Uh, let's take a listen to that, and then we're going to move on to Shotgun, I think. Because that feels good. Well, let's put vocals over that, uh, like this. That's what I'm thinking, Tercero.
Yeah, that's sounding good. I like it. Oh, did I paste in a guitar part here? Whoops. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Okay, that's better. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. That's gonna be good. Uh, I want to check out what Crazy Drummer sent me. Um, I know they're not here anymore, but maybe they'll come back later. Real, real good there, Crazy Drummer. <laughs> Assume they were goofing around. Let's check it out. There we go. Yeah. Killing it, man. That's better double bass than I can do. That's sick. Pyro, let's check out what you dropped in there. I want to hear that. Battered from uh, Antithope. And antith I cannot say this word. Antipathy? Antipathy? That's it. What's up, Senior Break? Okay, let's hear this. This is Battered from Antithope. Antip from the, the one with Hank. Yes, I've heard this. I love this. I know, I can't I just can't get my mouth to make those sounds now, right? I don't know why. What's up, little ninja? I also love this video. The way they've constructed this, this is a really cool playback video. Yeah, Sticky. Sticky's awesome. We're just checking this song out while we're taking breaks in between songs. Yeah, this is sick. I was, I was, uh, if you check out the mod tier list video I did, I was saying I love Hank's voice in this. It's so bassy and heavy and full. I love it. It's sick. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Let's do shotgun shell. If I can type shotgun shell. There we go. Oh, nice, Pyro. <laughs> it is a Poggers song, I would agree. Uh, let's pull in... Get to my desktop. Yes, there we go. Shotgun shell. Let's figure out our tempo here. I would go by what's in the chart, but... um. I checked the chart for God Rays and it was completely wrong tempo wise, so I don't know what that's about. So that should be like measure five there. Okay. There we go, we got it. Sweet. Uh, will I cover Battered? Maybe. It's a good song. I should listen to Crazy from Gentbot. I was in the Tales Get Trolled um, Discord, and someone did a cover of Sideways that they just posted in there, just for fun. And I commented, I was like, hey, this is awesome. I didn't know anybody heard this song. That's fun. Is my Zabadella cover the same BPM as the original? I have no idea. That was before I was really worrying about making it line up like that. So I don't know. Probably.
I'm really looking forward to doing this one. I don't think this is from Persona. This might be from Guilty Gear, though. I don't think so, though. Jennifer, I don't know if I'm actually covering Battered. I don't think I am. Pyro, that sounds crazy. That sounds awesome. I would love to see it. Parasite's a good song. I have no idea what Friday Night Madness mode is. Okay, cool. That's the whole layout of the song. Uh, what kind of app am I using? This is Pro Tools. This is a, uh, what they call a DAW, a digital audio workstation. It's a music production program. Uh, will I ever do other Shaggy songs? Maybe. I don't know. Um, what else? Conceptually, what's my favorite Friday Night Funkin' character in a mod or otherwise? Uh, I really, really like what they did with Spirit slash Senpai in uh, Mind Games. That was really fun. I don't know, Senor Break. I'm I'm happy with like 80 people. That's pretty awesome. If I had 80 people in a room watching me do something, I'd be, I don't know, pretty blown away. Uh, let's write drums. We're going to pull in the settings from whatever we just did. God raise. There it is. Here we go. I already did my FL rant. I actually had one in DMs with somebody earlier. They asked me why I hate FL so much. I just unloaded on them. Uh, some random gamer. I, I can't go through it now. I don't know. The, the short answer is it makes everything unnecessarily complicated. Um, fine. <laughs> Real quick. Re just the quickest of rants. Just the quickest of rants. Okay. Why, in FL Studio, if I make an instrument here, and I put, you know, whatever, uh, GMS here. Cool, cool, cool. Got a thingy. Great. Love it. It's the fifth instrument here, right? Uh, and I write something in it. I write using this, which doesn't even make sense that I can write anything using these buttons for a synthesizer, but whatever, sure. And then I put it here on track one. So now, okay, it's instrument number five on track one. Uh, I'm going to play it. Great. Let's go to my mixer. Where is it? It's not on any track? What? That's weird. That's stupid. Oh, it's because I didn't manually assign it to a mixer channel? That's insane. So now I can have something on mixer channel 9, instrument channel 5, and track 1. Why? Why would I ever need something in that many different places when, guess what? In Pro Tools, in literally every other DAW, if I open up Ableton, if I open up Studio One, if I open up Cubase, if I open up Reaper, if I put something on track one, it's on track one, and it's only on track one, because why the hell would it ever need to be anywhere else? Okay, I'm done. Sorry. I 
I get triggered very easily about the fell. <laughs> Uh, I actually I actually can't run subtitles on this if I want the chat to be as uh, quick as it is, unfortunately, and I can't change it now anyway. I'm sorry, I can't run subtitles right now. But you can rewatch this later and it'll have subtitles. The drums as they are are so metal. I don't even have to. Dark Roar, I've thought about it. Do it, Senor Break. <laughs> Tercero, it's still in the shop. I gotta call them tomorrow and see what's up. It's been like four weeks now. versus FL Studio and the songs created in Ableton. That's perfect, Caribou. I love this. This is already so metal. I'm just transcribing what's already there. Thank you. 
Wait, so Jensen, did you listen to them all at the same time? Because that doesn't sound like an optimal listening experience. How am I with horror games? I'm terrible. I'm a little weenie. The closest I've ever come to playing a horror game was trying to play Amnesia with the lights on with my friends there, and I still, like, none of us could get anywhere in it. <laughs> Potapunk, Mine Minecraft could be intense. Pokemon Master, what is that? My thoughts on Friday Night Funkin' in general? It's a pretty good rhythm game that has inspired like a crazy amount of creativity from a, the community, and that's really cool to me. Do I see that small vent on the floor? Is there a shotgun sound in the original? Cool. All right, that's drums. Uh, let's figure out the rest of this stuff. Do I play Guitar Hero? Yes, I am sick at Guitar Hero. Mm -hmm. 
These are in the same key. Other thing I noticed, both God Rays and Shotgun Shell are exactly two minutes and 10 seconds long. That's super weird to me. Oh, thanks, like Noka. That's fun. You should drop the spreadsheet in uh in our friend at Funkin' Mod channel. That'd be fun. We'd love to check it out. Pyromaniacal. I did not know that. Maybe we should try that sometime, huh? Do I need to buy one of those? How much is one of those? Hmm. These are all wireless, but they're around 50 bucks. Okay, we might have to try that. <laughs> Is Rosebud an FL? I'm pretty sure everybody else in the Friday Night Funkin' community except me and Kawhi Sprite are FL Studio users. And yes, Kawhi Sprite, the creator of all of this, uses Ableton Live like a real person. The guitar I have for Guitar Hero, I don't actually still have one, but I had it for Wii. I was about to start playing God Rays. Uh, Vanilla, they're different enough BPM-wise that it might be tricky. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll get one of those. I'm getting that part wrong. What was that supposed to be? Oh, geez, this changes a lot. Okay, cool. fell asleep halfway through that. I know, Lucky Mist. I just never, uh, I never got into Retro's music. I don't know. That 
That's a sick riff. That's easy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's hear this part. Will I ever do Termination from QT? Uh, maybe. I might get back to that mod later. It's cool. Dinosaurus, that is a sound font, uh, and you want to use a plugin called Sforzando, which I am typing in chat because that's a weird word. Where did you post it, Caribou? I don't see. Hang on. <laughs> Thanks, Caribou. <laughs> And that's guitars. Okay, bass time. I think we're just gonna match the guitars all the way through the song. Cause it feels like that's what it's doing. I like Promenade better too, but Shotgun Shells is uh, is very popular. Oh, there's no bass in this intro, hang on. Nights or so. Uh, do I have an experience making metal covers without playing the guitars myself? Uh, kind of, if you count my chip tunes, uh, where I do like the metal Sega Genesis guitars. 
Uh, there are good uh, VST guitars. Uh, most of them are not free, unfortunately. If you do some Googling around, you should find something, though. Cool, cool. I gotta drop out there. I'm gonna do some bass drops there. There we go. Cool. That's a base part. Caribou, yes, it is freezing cold here. It is, uh, how many degrees? I bet I can count them on one finger. No, it's, it's, uh, it's a little below freezing here. It's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very cold. My car is, like, literally encased in ice right now. It's super good. Is there much going else? Is there much else going on in this song besides guitars? What do I think of Davey 504? I think he's very funny and a very good bass player. Okay, so we got some piano. Let's add that. Oops. What the heck? New track, please. That's all I want. There we go. It's been snowing for three days straight where you are, Pyro. That's crazy. We got we got a lot uh, like two nights ago and then a little bit this morning. But other than that, it's been thankfully pretty, pretty clear, just freezing cold. Sounds like a good trade, Caribou. What song am I doing first again? Uh... Danny, I finished God Rays earlier, and now we're finishing up uh, Shotgun Shell. And someone asked earlier, will I cover, um, will I cover Artery uh, or Breathe or something from Psycho Red? Yeah, I want to do Breathe. In fact, we may like knock out a really quick guitar cover of Breathe while we're here, just for kicks. Because um, we burned through these really quickly. Uh...
How's that go? That's, uh... Okay, there we go. Is Psycho Red a good dad? <laughs> That's a question for Sugar Ratio. <laughs> I have no idea. I have nothing to suggest anything about his parenting skills. So I don't know. I know he's good at murder. Uh, I just forgot the chords I played! There we go. Cool. Good, it's just that twice. Love it. Okay, now we do uh, risers into each section. Uh, you have no idea how to translate Fahrenheit to Celsius? So, um, oh, that's hot, caribou. <laughs> what I can tell you is, um, basically, so I like Fahrenheit, uh, and I, I'm a science-minded person. I love physics. I love chemistry. Um, I do like Fahrenheit. I think Fahrenheit has a good purpose in that zero is about as cold as a human being can stand to be, and 100 is about as hot as a human being can stand to be. And the individual degrees in there really do make a difference. Like 70 feels very different from 72. Um, and like 72 is a really comfortable, nice room temperature, but 78 can be really hot, and that's not that much more. So um, I like Fahrenheit. This is a weird thing I didn't expect to, uh, to share today, to have an opinion on, but Fahrenheit's a good system for some stuff. <laughs> Don't cancel me. <laughs> Neo, I'm actually, uh, I'm uploading a cover of Detected this weekend, and I, um, you should check out, hang on. Check out the album cover I did for it, uh, for Spotify. I think this is a cool album cover <laughs> for Detected. <laughs> I made this in Photoshop. I had fun with it. Anyway. Okay, so what I added here is called a riser or a sweep. It just, it's like a reverse explosion sound. It's a symbol, crash symbol in reverse. And, uh, and it just builds into the next section. Makes it hit harder. So I'll put it in between each section. Yeah, Imperial measurements are stupid. I agree to that. Now, uh, if you tweet at them, they'll, he'll, he'll probably respond. He, he's pretty, pretty active on Twitter, Now, uh, Um, yeah, okay, this is, this is hitting hard. Let's hear the end of it. 
Later, dinosaurs. Cool, that's hitting hard. Uh, love it. Uh, I do... Somebody brought up covering Psycho Red earlier, and I can't, like, get the idea out of my head, so we are going to cover Psycho Red. Um, let's, uh... Let's bounce out reference tracks for ourselves. And, uh, let's check out the session for Psycho Red real quick. Could I do Attack from the Saliva mod? Uh, I have no interest in really covering that. I don't know, I'm not really into it. Oh, and there might be a spoiler in my Ableton Live recent history, so I'm going to try to find Breathe really quickly. There we go. Don't look. <laughs> might be spoilers for another mod I'm on. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, his voice is screwed up. That's okay. You like Artery? I, I also like Artery, but Breathe is my favorite. I think Breathe might be my favorite song. Well, that's not true. New songs I've written in this past weekend, one of them is now my favorite I've written. But uh, Breathe is really, really high up there. Uh, thanks, Caribou. Okay, so let's bounce out the instrumental from this so we have it. Uh, and then I can bounce the MIDI as well for us. Uh, I'm just not into the Zardy songs. I don't know. Oh, there might be spoilers in there too. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just leaking everything today. <laughs> If I chose not to use a real guitar, what, uh, there's one, I forget what it's called. I think Shreddage. Uh, if you have to use a, a guitar library, uh, as far as I know, Shreddage is really good. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, I feel the same way, Lucky Mist. That is my, uh, that is a real bummer. I don't know. The The songs are much more about notes than about actual songs. Uh, okay, let's bounce out. Uh, what am I talking about? Let's bounce out MIDI from this guy. Oh, that's not what I asked for. MIDI. I just want the MIDI. These guys. Why can't I export MIDI? <laughs> does it need to be a single clip? Oh, it does. Jeez. Okay. Um, this is Breathe Psycho Red. This is Breathe Boyfriend. Got to cover Black Sun. Probably not after uh, after that stuff last week. Uh, wasn't that one of the songs from? the uh, from Revy's exe character i'm not i'm not gonna say too much more there were there was some uh really inappropriate behavior from uh the director of sonic.exe 
and the character they created, who is the faker Sonic, uh, is uh, being removed from Sonic.exe as a result. And I'm not interested in covering any songs associated with that character as a result. Uh, let's pull in Breathe. What's up, Back Alley Blitz? Honestly, I was never that into the songs anyway, so I'm not... I don't know. but it is messed up. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Nah, don't worry about it, Pyro. Yeah, darker. the The short answer of it was when you know, when certain people get a ton of fame and power and uh, influence and control over a bunch of other people, particularly younger people, particularly new people who, um, you know, feel like maybe they have to say yes to things they shouldn't have to say yes to, uh, in order to advance in the scene advance in the industry this happens a lot in the entertainment world in the music world in the movie world it's messed up and it's not okay and it's good that people are speaking out about it Yeah, FH is right, it's Discharge, my favorite. Oh, I love this drop so much. Sounds cool, Pyro. I hope you get an answer, Nora. I should make a third song for Psycho Red. If, uh, if Sugar's down for another stream, I'll do another one with them. Lucky Mist, you should be able to use this uh, this drum set in any DAW that accepts VST plugins.
lyric videos for the mods? They don't have lyrics, though. Uh, let's see if I can actually play this on bass. Yeah. <laughs> You sent it in general? Let me check it out. Hang on. Pyro, loving it. Let's check it out. Very cool. I'm working on my drawing. It's getting there. I kind of agree with you, Vanilla. I've never heard, like, Friday Night Funkin' lyrics I actually thought added to things. They always feel very shoehorned in, especially when there's a lot of words. Like, I heard one for Zavadoa that was like... It was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and one for You Can't Run, which is, like, literally unlistenable crazy nonsense. What's the name of the drum set? This is Get Good Drums Invasion. Ugh. <laughs> My finger needs to be in two places at once. Yeah, look it up, Caribou. It's it's too much, frankly. That kind of works. I kind of want to record each measure separately. There we go. There's our baseline. Is that the one? How's it go? That's it. Yeah, I know this is an entity. <laughs> Caribou, you've been here the whole time. I just wanted to cover this. It's my show. I can cover what I want. You can't stop me. Elric, this is uh, this is Breathe from Versus Psycho Red. This is the mod I made in three hours with uh, with Sugar Ratio from the Entity mod. So it is thematically connected. This is kind of Entity related, in that it was created by the same artist. <laughs>
Dean's in a ragtag. <laughs> That's just me. I kind of like that chug better. Ah, it's not working. So I was reading chat during that. Do I consider myself a Chad? No. No, under no circumstances. I mean, I... I what are the... What are the criteria for a Chad? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think I'm a Chad by by that definition. I'm just a dude. I don't think by any definition of a Chad does a Chad spend their time sitting in their basement playing Friday Night Funkin' songs. <laughs> I I don't feel like a Chad when it's six in the morning. I'm alone in my basement dancing around with a guitar, staring at a camera. Um, definitely, definitely not Chad situation. <laughs> Monochrome's your favorite? I had fun with Monochrome, Raptor. I do not sleep in the basement, Kenyon. I sleep in my bed on the third floor of this house. Um, no. No, but my music is in my basement.
Where does my wife sleep? Also in the same bed. <laughs> like normal. Oh, you guys played Mario Kart? Nice. I want to play with you guys sometime. I will absolutely do some Mario Kart game night in the in the Discord. Mario Kart 8 is like one of my favorite games of all time. Will I do attack? Probably not. Uh, split was so much fun, except the lead is really hard to play on guitar. Oh, that friggin... No, wait, I'm getting that confused with Zavadilla. How does split go? Uh, the friggin, um... What's the main... How does the main line go? Shoot. That's so good. Yeah, Amar got canceled, but Ardolf didn't. Ardolf's still an awesome dude, and I don't mind playing his songs. Uh, I just forget who he wrote them for, and I'm okay with it. Yeah, let's not let's not talk about Amor anymore. We could talk about Ardolf though, he's awesome. Livid Lycanthrope is such a sick mod. I still gotta finish my cover of Lycanthrope. <laughs> Thanks, Raptor. That took so long to edit in. You have no idea. That was worth it, though. Uh, Pato, close. This is Breathe. Same mod, though. I love how tight that edit gets. That's probably too tight. I'll probably loosen it up a little bit. I'm just getting the idea here. And I'm just going to steal more MIDI files from this.
Chaos was fun. I had a blast with Chaos. <laughs> Team is officially Chad. What? What do you mean by this? Oh god, someone did it. <laughs> I like that FL is... That's good. That's very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, okay, the one I wanted to steal the file for was this one. Here we go. I need the MIDI for this. It's the arpeggios. And while I'm at it, I'm just literally going to... Oh, geez, that's a long... Uh, okay, I can just remake that. I don't need it. I don't need it! How's everything been going? Clown Bash, we're good. We're, we're all done with uh, both Entity tracks, so now we're doing the song I made with the artist for Entity, uh, Sugar Ratio. Um, we're making uh, a song from Psycho Red now. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Where is it? There we go. Teen's gonna leak more stuff. Hopefully not. I'd like to keep working for the mods I'm on. I would be a very bad spy. You're right, Caribou. Uh, I'm going to try and bang out the lead guitars really quick, see if I remember how they go. I'm going to do this entirely from memory. Let's see what happens. Oh, thanks, Raptor. Yeah, that was that was a nice little extra bit of effort that I put in there. That was fun. That's the part, right? I would, I would manage that caribou. Does it start? How does this go? <laughs> I need to listen to it. I don't exactly remember how this goes, but we do have the midis here, so I can kind of read the midi as we go. Mr. Dean equals Mr. Bean. I do adore Rowan Atkinson. He's a wonderful man, so yes, sure. Let's see if I can play this a little slower, because I've literally never played this on a guitar before, despite having written it. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Norberto, that line was in the sample copy they gave me. Um, it was like, uh, what was it? Precision tools for your family jewels. And I was reading, I was like, oh, no, I probably shouldn't say that. Because <laughs> I know family jewels. He's a friend of mine. Thanks, Caribou. Okay, let's record boyfriend's part. Uh, he's gonna be an octave above, I guess, right? Okay, uh, so that was messy, but we could put boyfriend's uh, effect on there and a voice for Psycho Red. Let's do, um, check this out. This is the effect I used for uh, for Psychic today in Uproar, actually, and I really liked it. Uh, this is called Phase Distortion. I don't really know what it's doing, but it sounds very cool. Uh, so here's, let's grab a, a line like this. So that's a cool effect, and we can play a little bit with that. Mix in just a tiny bit of that, uh, along with an octave shifter. 
Yes, I'm static. That's exactly what it means. That sounds like an appropriate Psycho Red voice. And then one more thing. We're just going to mix in some noise from Morphoder. Yeah. And then here's Boyfriend's voice. Boyfriend, we usually just do um, just a tiny pitch shifter. And there's my usual Boyfriend effect. Okay, that's getting there. Uh, we'll have fun with that. That's coming out uh, probably early next week. That'll probably be out a week from today, uh, a cover of that. And probably God Rays and uh, Shotgun Shell like shortly after. I want to knock out a whole bunch in a row. I just want to drop a bunch of songs. Hey, thanks, Lucky Mist. Have a good night. Um, so... How painful was it to cover Run? You can actually watch me cover Run on stream. Um, it was something. It was absolutely something. Um, so, what does LSO stand for? Longest solo over? <laughs> um, anyway, this was fun. We knocked out like three songs tonight. That's wild. Uh, this Saturday, um, Detected is coming. If you want to hear like a little snippet of Detected. Where is it? Anyway, that's going to be fun. Um, and then don't worry about all this other stuff you're seeing in here. Okay. Yeah. So that was awesome. That was a blast. Uh, keep an eye on uh, Tales Get Trolled and and my Twitter. I'll probably announce another mod uh, maybe later this week or next uh, that I'm on. Uh, and then we'll do... Uh, we'll probably play some games in the morning tomorrow. And then we'll probably do some Gentbot streaming on uh, on Friday. So, you know, we'll be here all week. Will I be streaming me covering No Villains? Uh, yeah, probably No Villains, definitely. Talentless Fox, maybe. I'll see. Um, yeah. Cool. That was fun. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Have a great evening, and I'll see you in, uh, I'll see you in, like, 11 hours. We'll be back here. Mario Kart tomorrow. Ooh. Should we play some Mario Kart? Let's play some Mario Kart. Uh, okay. If I can figure out how to get my Switch onto my screen, then yes. Def Trap. We'll, we'll play some Mario Kart maybe at the end of the stream or we'll talk. If not tomorrow, we'll do it soon. Okay, we'll talk. That's fun. I'm excited. Have a good night, y'all.